This is lesson four and three tenths, partitioning rectangles. Why might we be partitioning rectangles, you might ask. Well, this particular method of multiplication is going to help you when we start doing partial products and some other multiplication strategies. So that's why we are looking at this method. So what does it mean to partition something? It means that we are going to divide it up into smaller pieces. So let's take a look at the problem that I want to start with today. And this is Jacob rode his bike four miles a day for 39 days. How many miles did he ride in all? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a rectangle, as you can see, and I'm going to get this one out of the way for right now. And we're going to take the numbers that were given in this problem. So we've got four on this side and 39 up here. And I need you to be thinking about how can we take apart or what's called decompose the number 39. And think back to expanded form. If we have the number 39, what would that be in expanded form? Hopefully you remember that that would be 30 plus 9 would equal 39. So what I want you to think about is taking this rectangle and dividing it up so that we have... 4 times 30 inside here and 4 times 9 inside here. Now when we look at 4 times 30 we can think of that as an extended multiplication fact. Do our basic fact 4 times 3 which is going to give us 12 and then we're going to add our 0 in which is going to give us 120. And then we've got a basic fact over here, 4 times 9, that gives us 36. We take the 120 and the 36, and we add those together, and we get our answer to 4 times 39, which happens to be 156. So the, in this example, I'm still doing 4 times 39. I'm just showing you a different way that I could have divided the rectangle. As you can see, I have the number 4 still here on the left side, but I have taken 39 and I broke it into 10, 10, 10, and 9. So when we add 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 9, we still get 39. It's just a different way of decomposing that particular number. So I'm still going to do the problem the same way. I'm going to multiply this 4 times this 10, which is going to give me 40. And then I'm going to multiply times the second 10, which will give me 40 again. And the third 10, which gives me 40 again. And then our 4 times 9, which is our 36. We add 40 plus 40 plus 40 which is 120 and we take our 36 and we add those together just like we did before and we come up with 156. If you recall this was the first example that we did I just kind of wrote it a little bit differently we did 30 plus 9 up here at the top we got our 120 for this expanded um, multiplication problem and then we've got our basic fact over here of 36. We add those together we still get 156 when we add them. So we've got 156 using this method and we've got 156 using this method of decomposing those numbers. So that's the same problem decomposing a couple of different ways you're going to do lots of practice in class. If you need to re-watch this section, watch it again. Make sure you understand it. In class, we're going to use the idea of partitioning rectangles to solve two and three digit by one digit multiplication problems. And we're also going to practice decomposing numbers. So get ready to bring it when I see you. Later.